Yusuf Senabulia, whose stage name is Kabako, is a Ugandan musician whose work is popular among the youth. Kabako says that his strength is in making music. Up to now, siku langa yoka limusowa na kwe sibamu paka ampiambu mpita moto ka. Sobula kwete kaku seji mbu ndiku boda. Sisobula kula ichi. Nisobula kula ichi ntwe chila landi muruzi. Nesi mulimo guange. O mulimo guange kuyimba. Atenga siguli konze ka ndi sabantu. Nkoze sabantu. But for two years now, Kabako has not held the microphone to perform and this has affected his finances. Emiake vili. Nga tokola, emiake ebiri nga to ingiza, emiake ebiri nga tebakula bako, bojamu sente, ebi nitu yonevibabie SBA. The artists blame poor management in the music industry. Just it system ya music ya Uganda ye yafa, chechino chetuli mkolo kwe gata. Botu nulidaba imbi vaze bakole wa kawash, chintu chabu suavu nyo, ili ya bantu wa batu wagida. Tendo kule motoka, wale mekufanga toku se motoka, tenda. They believe that COVID-19 is a blessing in disguise, one that will awaken them to thinking up more avenues to continue earning from their music. management. <laughs> Kuba, waluwe vinzo kukua right now kukabako nga kabako ite ya sobo la kusobo chintu chibaita management. Walter Walusimbi, the General Secretary of the Federation of Musicians Associations in Uganda, says these ideas are only possible with an active copyright law. Now that law alone, if it is, if it is put into uh, action, it, if it is uh, put into place, it literally means that every musician will earn from their art, will earn from every song they make, will earn from anything creative. Walusimbi wants government to urgently put forward regulations to have the law operational. A machine that monitors music, for you to know that every, every music that has played on this radio, played this time and this much, is about 350,000 US dollars. Government can buy that machine as a way of improving copyright. They give it to UPRS, they begin to monitor our music. That's where we are going to gain. Legal experts say that the copyright law will not have any effect if the artists are not sensitized about it. Uh, our friends, the artists, are still in the old times of doing things. One thing we can guarantee in life, all of us, is change. Change is a constant. We cannot behave the way we are doing music in 1995 or in the late 80s. Artists have refused the Uganda Performing Rights Society to collect their royalties from those who use their music, claiming that the sharing of finances is unfair. Solomon Kawesa, NTV. Oh!